Well, I'm hydrating because that big fast day is coming on Yom Kippur. I know you're going to be watching this just moments before our fast begins, and I hope that you are able to scroll down through the rest of this wonderful weekly digest of ours to see everything that's upcoming here at Community Synagogue on the other side of Yom Kippur. Activities for Sukkot, activities uh, like Taste of Judaism with our intern Jeff Dreyfus for learning, activities that we're doing that connect us to Wainwright House and our new partnership, which you'll learn more about coming up. But right now, my friends, Yom Kippur is really upon us. This is known as the Sabbath of Sabbaths. It's the most important day in the year. And so as you prepare to come to synagogue tonight for Kol Nidre here at 200 Forest Avenue, uh, and then of course the morning back at SUNY Purchase and the afternoon then back here at 200 Forest Avenue, I, I invite you to try to slow down a little bit on the Sabbath of Sabbaths, to be kind, to be compassionate, to make room for others, especially with the parking at SUNY this year in the valets, um, and to make sure that this is a day that's meaningful for you. I'm here in the kitchen on purpose because you'll hear the, the hum of the refrigerator, and I say this every year from the Bima, which is on Yom Kippur after services end. We invite you to stay, either to do some music and meditation with Kobe Hayon, the Kobe Hayon Trio, or to stay with a, for a conversation on uh, the Middle East and issues facing Jews around the world, led by some of our congregants, as opposed to going home and having to listen to this, having to listen to the hum of your refrigerator, that is pulling you and saying to you, come open me and have something to eat. It's a day where we fast. It's a day where we contemplate. It's a day where we reflect and think about how can I be different in the year ahead. So in advance, I encourage you to, to hydrate, but also as you come to this day of Yom Kippur, if because of a medical condition, if because you're pregnant, if because you're nursing, um, there is something that will keep you from fasting. Know that you, you stand on, on good foundations within Jewish tradition and Jewish law to be able to not fast. Um, as the Torah portion says, choose life so that you and your offspring may live. That's what's really important, my friends, is that we do what we need to do to take care of ourselves this day. So take care of yourself physically, take care of yourself spiritually, take care of yourself mentally and emotionally. And we want to wish you a very meaningful Yom Kippur and a Tzom Kal, an easy fast. See you on the other side.